What attracted you to the project? And were you a fan of monster movies or horror films, horror films growing up? The two things that most attracted me to this project were MCU and Halloween. So I was a massive fan of the MCU films. I'd seen most of them, I think, before um, before I kind of got the call about this character. And then, of course, I went and caught up on all the other ones as well that I hadn't seen. And, you know, I'm a huge fan. So I really would have been involved in anything that they wanted me to do in that world. But the added bonus of it being a Halloween special, which I am just the biggest Halloween fan in the world. My whole family has always found Halloween incredibly important <laughs> and um, it's big in my household. So I knew that I was kind of going to get to combine two things that I really loved and there was no way I was going to say no. Tell us about Elsa in general terms and how you can relate to her. Elsa is uh, a monster hunter. She uh, grew up being trained in that by her father, Ulysses Bloodstone, uh, who is this um, uh, revered ancient uh, monster hunter. And she, we find her at a point now where she is kind of between two worlds. She doesn't know whether she still wants to be involved in that. And she has uh, dissociated from her family and her father and all of that world for quite some time and is now coming back to it and is trying to find herself within that context, I think. And so that's a really relatable aspect of her character to me because I think that as we all grow up and mature, we find ourselves in these positions sometimes where we've got to, um, you know, straddle who we were and who we want to be and we're trying to figure out how, how to how to get there. So I thought that that brought along a lot of vulnerability to her and a lot of humanity that I was really interested in exploring. What is her look and what did you like best about her costume? Her look is very practical. She is in leather and jeans and boots and, uh, you know, gear that she can go on a monster hunt in. <laughs> um, and I loved that whole thing because it, you know, it, it was very practical. I was able to really move in it. It was, you know, I was able to do my stunts and, um, and it was really comfortable. And uh, I think my favorite thing about her are the little streaks of color that I have in, in my hair. I wanted to keep them, but I wasn't able to. <laughs> This being your first MCU venture, what did you enjoy most about the process? This being my first MCU project, the thing that I most enjoyed was that it felt really collaborative and really creative and actually kind of like we were making a little independent movie that, you know, just a, a passion project. So I often forgot that it was within the context of this huge universe that I've been a fan of. And that was really unexpected to me because I know that the way um, all of these characters and stories and everything all link up, I thought that everything would be a lot stricter and yet it still felt like a really artistic, creative process. And that for an actor is just really, you know, it's a dream. So I really enjoyed the whole thing of being able to develop this character, be able to work through the scenes and be able to change little bits and things were, you know, constantly in flux. And um, that just made it feel like we were, you know, uh, getting to be, really creative and, and we had a great time with it. What was it like working with the cast and what was the tone on set? We had a surprising amount of fun as a cast on that set for something that we were filming that was really quite dark and scary and you know we we just had a huge number of laughs i mean we had a lot of scenes or you know a good few scenes where it was all of the casting together um particularly towards the beginning of the shoot and so we'd all be there just feeling kind of like we were part of something really special and we just laughed a lot everybody was really lovely to get along with and i especially adored working with gael uh who plays jack we had, you know, I think we developed a really good rapport and were able to to kind of support each other through the scenes. And he's such an amazing actor. So, yeah, it was a bit of a dream. What was your experience like working with the director, Michael Giacchino? Michael Giacchino is incredibly special as a director. I think that he was able to bring such a, a fun and kind of uh, what what felt like 
a low pressure situation to something that I'm sure must have felt very highly pressured. It felt really experimental and really creative and really free. And we were all welcome to collaborate and come with our ideas and come with, um, you know, what we wanted to bring personally to the project. Um, so I think to be able to create that atmosphere and at the same time produce this tiny, well told, you know, short story um, and tell that story so beautifully in the beats of it is is such a skill. And I think that the fact that he has a background as a, as a hugely successful composer um, really shows in the kind of the musicality and the rhythm that he brings to telling that story really beautifully. I think that it just plays out perfectly. And I think that that is because, specifically because of those skills he has. This was filmed on practically, practically uh, built sets, uh, practical sets, but <laughs> it's worded weird. Um, what did you think of the set and which one impressed you most? The fact that we were going to get to um, be on practically built sets was a really big attraction for me in doing the project. It was something that Michael told me about whenever I first had a conversation with him and he told me that he wanted like in you know in those old uh, 30s 40s horror movies he wanted everything to be there and real and tangible and that was a really big draw for me because um, me coming from a theater background means that that's very what I'm, I'm used to you know I'm used to being able to look actors in the eye I'm used to be able to touch everything around me to use the sets and that's the kind of you know it's the kind of acting that I, I like to do so I was thrilled to hear that and, and getting on those sets it was it was amazing because you know we had this big maze set and it was that you know we all kept getting lost in it and you know you'd put down your water bottle and then you'd finish a scene and go back to get it and you'd realize that you've no idea which end of of the the space it was at and we were all just always you know walking around trying to find where we were supposed to be so you know again it just it adds to the whole fun of the thing but um it really made uh performing in those spaces so much more fulfilling what's in store for viewers when they watch this special I think what's in store for viewers whenever they watch the special is um, scary, thrilling, vintage horror. But at the same time, there is real heart to the story. You know, it, the, the humanity, I think, uh, of the characters is what is the linchpin of the whole thing. And I think that particularly the connection between Jack and Elsa grants it in a real humanity that I think is really beautifully told. So yes, it's horror and it's scary. And I hope that people are, you know, are scared by it, but I also hope that they come away moved by it. That's great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.